Hi, welcome to CES 2022. My name is Gajinder. I'm here at the Qualcomm booth, and I'm gonna be talking about Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and power line communications. So Qualcomm has a strong legacy in wireless and wired communications with over 30 years in cellular leadership, 20 years of Wi-Fi, and about 10 years of power line communications. From an automotive Wi-Fi perspective, we have a strong portfolio of solutions from Wi-Fi 5, 6, and now 6E, single Mac, dual Mac, up to 2.8 gigabits per second with four streams. From a Wi-Fi perspective, we offer premium Wi-Fi experiences that you would see in your living room, in your office, video streaming, screen sharing, and other um, gaming, and other types of wireless experiences. From a Bluetooth perspective, we offer hands-free voice calling, wireless headsets, and aptics for high fidelity audio. Now, our latest product extends Wi-Fi 6 into the six gigahertz band. When Wi-Fi 4 was introduced, it introduced three channels that are 20 megahertz wide. Wi-Fi 5 added 25 additional channels. Now, Wi-Fi 6E adds 60 additional 20 megahertz channels, supporting up to 2.4 gigabits per second in two streams. Now, this is a demonstration of our latest product. In this system, we had two endpoints configured with Wi-Fi 6E 802.11ax, 2 by 2 MIMO, two stream, 160 megahertz channel wide, 4K QAM, and we were able to achieve over two gigabits per second of application layer throughput. This is what you might see if you were trying to do a download. Now the 6696 is sampling to automotive customers. With all this extra bandwidth, we're gonna have the ability to do more in the vehicle. We'll be able to support faster downloads, many, many more users, and our product also supports Bluetooth 5.3 for high fidelity audio, as well as the Aptix codec. Now our products are already being sampled to our module makers, and they're creating these modules as we speak. Powerline communications, this is used for electric vehicle charging communications, allowing your charger to connect to the car and communicate with the car to decide how much current to push to the vehicle. Thank you for joining me at CES 2022. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out and or visit us at Qualcomm.com.